My name is Tyler Van Day, I'm with Grand Canyon University, and I am here to reflect upon um, my experience through SCC 590 um, and our student teaching process. Um, so one of the ways that my uh, teaching philosophy has changed and developed this year has been um, through our implementation of standards-based grading um, here at our school at Sprague High School. So um, a lot of traditional grading practices um, are catered towards students that know how to play school really well, um, come to class, go through the various motions. Um, so this year we've kind of made a shift um, amongst other equitable means um, to a what we call standards-based grading. Um, it's driven by a book called Equity for Grading. Um, basically a lot of it's geared towards um, grading students based on their understanding of the standards rather than their ability to participate or behave or kind of like I said, play school. Um, so a lot of this um, really means that we're creating um, a student grade based off their assessment only. Now this is not just their ability to take a test, um, especially um, a standardized test in that sense too. A lot of this is more of students there are plenty of students who really don't do the homework or don't do a lot of the classwork, but show up and take the test and do well. Or there's those students that do all, walk through all the steps, but just are terrible test takers. So this is meant to meet both of those students in the middle. Basically, as a department, we sit down, um, identify what are the core standards um, that we want them to learn out of each unit, and we grade them based on their ability to demonstrate those. So if they do that in the lab work, um, if they do that in um, a homework assignment, if they do that on an assessment, Basically, we're, we're looking to see their understanding of the assessment, or of the standards, excuse me. So that's one way that my philosophy has changed, is my grading philosophy. Um, one of the ways that um, we've used technology um, to enhance the student experience um, and opportunities this year has been the housing of all of our, um, most of our stuff takes place um, with an online component. Um, this is allowed throughout the COVID-19 um, pandemic to for students to be able to participate at home um, there is we use um, the program called canvas to ho house all of our assignments um, so students whether they're here or not can participate so the beginning of before I teach every day um, that I post to canvas um, in a very clear and detailed um, timeline of how the class goes it's also great because parents are able to understand exactly the sequence or trend or progression of the class as it goes and they're able to see that with their students as well as they're able to know um, how caught up their students are. Um, one of the other things I really like about Canvas has been my assessment tracking. So for um, assessments um, it actually generates a lot of statistics because um, you can grade in that program as well and it generates a lot of statistics um, that kind of analyzes um, all of your students results um, and kind of compares them. So oftentimes, for example, it'll tell me if there's a certain question that a certain a high percentage of students missed. And if those students missed that question, how it affected their grade on, on that assessment. Um, so in scenarios like that, I can not necessarily throw that out, but it's a good moment for me to be like, oh, I missed this big time. I need to go back and cover this um, as my students were missing that. So that's been really helpful as well. Finally, um, my strategies for implementing a Christian worldview of compassion and promoting human uh, flourishing, um, as well as kind of putting ethics into my culture or my classroom culture. Um, we've been doing this through our advisory classes this year. Um, these are classes that are built in twice a week um, to our schedule. Um, and um, every um, advisory, every student's advisory teacher is the same advisory teacher for all four years of high school. So it's really great because you're able to develop relationship with, relationships with students and watch them grow. Um, in these classes, we touch a lot on social emotional learning. Uh, we do a lot of life skills, um, as well as we build a classroom and a school culture at that. Um, one of the ways that I've done this this year has been with my seniors, because um, I have seniors for advisory um, with a peer mentoring program. So those who are interested in it and those who have exemplified um, good uh, maturity level and, and skills in, in school. Um, we pair those up with struggling students, um, name, mainly freshmen and sophomores, um, to give them kind of a peer influence um, rather than just an adult telling them what they shouldn't do, should and shouldn't do. Um, and so that's been really successful. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great rest of your day.